What's up, guys? We're back. Guess who's talking metal? This guy. You guessed it. If you find the content useful, help us out. Just drop a little like. Thank you for your support. We're very appreciative. Today, our video is another alloy of the 300 series of stainless steels found in aerospace applications, 310 and 310S. These alloys differ only in the maximum carbon content permitted. 310 is 0.25% max carbon, and 310S is restricted to 0.08% max carbon. Both 310 and 310S are austenitic stainless steels, and they have excellent oxidation resistance at higher temperatures. 310S is the more commonly produced version of the basic alloy, and it also exhibits improved corrosion resistance as compared to 304 due to its higher chromium and nickel content. Typically used in the annealed condition, aka condition A. Annealing temperature is from 1900 degrees to 2100 degrees Fahrenheit, followed by rapid cooling for maximum corrosion resistance. Either version is used for the high temperature oxidation resistance. The lower carbon 310S is preferred where the enhanced corrosion resistance of the alloy is required. Is 310 or 310S magnetic? Or are they magnetic? Hmm. Same answer, 310 and 310S are considered non-magnetic in the annealed condition. And now for a few SAE and UNS, we got for 310, we have SAE 30310, and we have UNS S31000. And then for the 310S, we have SAE 30310S, which go right here. And for the UNS of 310S, we have UNS S31008. That's all we got. Density 0.29 pounds per cubic inch with a mean coefficient of thermal expansion from 32 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit of 8.8 micro inch per inch per degree Fahrenheit. Has a machinability rating of 36%. And again, that is against alloy 1212. And now... Chemistry, okay? Pretty easy today, 310, 310S, very similar. You'll notice a little asterisk in the carbon and that it's 0.08, which means we're doing 310S and that the asterisk pointing to about here, somewhere there, right? What's that mean? Well, that means that the carbon content of 310 is a little different, just a little more, right? If you've been paying attention, that's correct. So that's it, moving along, typical mechanic, Typical minimum mechanical properties for 310 in the solution and yield condition carry a yield strength of 30,000 PSI, a tensile strength of 75,000 PSI with an elongation of 35%. The reduction of area is 50%. And so aerospace specifications for the solution annealed condition, hmm, there they are. AMS 5572 for seamless tubing. AMS 5577 for welded tubing. AMS 5651 for bars, forging, mechanical tubing, and rings. AMS 5521 for sheet, strip, and plate. Lastly, AMS QQS 763 for bar shapes and forgings. Okay. Done. The ASTM and ASME standards for commercial applications are too numerous to detail here. So, please refer to our website. Check the link in the description for that and for more videos on stainless and other grades. Additional specifications and part requirements can alter what we have shown you here today. And so, it's that time we've gotten here again, right? <whistles> Check. The specs. <whistles> Check them. Seriously, though. Check those specs. So check out the earlier versions, sorry, the, check out the earlier videos on stainless steels and michelinmetals.com. Michelin Metals is a distributor of stainless steel 310 and 310S. Please visit our website, michelinmetals.com. If you missed previous week's video, there it is, right? If you guys are still here, haven't subscribed, think about it, help me out, help the channel out. Thank you so much. I will see you guys next Thursday. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, 10 a.m. I'm out.